so as you guys know, I bought this trimmer and I put 37s on it, which made my speedometer, my odometer, all of that off. And I basically um, ha talked to a company. They're called, um, let me see what the, I want to get the, it's OBD Link um, is the maker. So a OBD Link. So I talked to them told them the issues I was having and they sent me out for free two plugs, which I'm going to show you guys. But I also found a guy on YouTube and I will put a link to his video in the bottom of my bio. Um, he's very knowledgeable on a lot of these trucks and things that he has went through. He's had Ford Chevy, uh, but I watched one of his videos on it and was able to correct my speedometer. I'm gonna show you guys that and we're gonna test it just to see how far it is off or on. You may have to adjust the values a little bit, but his video will explain and you can kind of mess with the four scan and see what you can do to these trucks. There's a ton of things you can do. Like you can turn your fog lights on with your high beams. You can pretty much make your headlights do anything you want inside of this coating. And I'll show you guys that later on the video. But I just wanted to, and I'm not trying to take away from his video. Without his video, I wouldn't have been able to do this as quick as I did. So that's why I want to give him the credit for it. And I'm thankful that he put this video up. But I'll put a link to his video in the bottom. Like I said, we're going to see how close this GPS is to my 37s. I was off roughly three to four mile per hour. So if I was running 70, it would say, it would, GPS would say 74, 70, you know, between 73 and 75. So I've corrected these to a value and I'll show you guys that in the video. We're gonna see if it's correct. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys with the hard wire cable cause most of you'll probably end up buying this. But uh, once you plug it into your PCM and you've got it plugged in your computer and you've downloaded Forescan, you're gonna click on it. You've got to get a license for it. Once you get your license, you can either do the pre-trial or whatever you're going to um, upload that into here and uh, put in your four scan code. Um, after that, once you've got your car on here, then you're gonna go to this little icon right here. Of course, you've got to connect it to the vehicle. So we're gonna go back to the vehicle. You're gonna see this right here. You're gonna click connect. It's gonna tell you to make sure your ignition's on and then you're gonna hit okay. Yes, optimize it for maximal. Yes, that's my truck. And then it's gonna run this whole thing through here that scans all your modules. I'm gonna go through this the quick, quick route, but all of these modules have the ability to change your multiple things i mean there's so many things in there once you get into them you've got different things on each one of them so once you find what you're looking for you can click on it and basically we're going to go to this little icon here this is going to give you all the individual modules so this is telling you it's from the pcm the tcm Alt PDM, and then you can go out to them and you can find exactly, you know, what you're looking for. Uh, but your body control module is going to be the main one that we are looking for. So it's going to be right here, body CM. See that right there? We're gonna click it and hit play. Once you do that, it's gonna read all the values, yada, yada, yada. We're gonna go up here to filter and hit tire. Now you can see that I've already changed mine to $27.99. Uh, my factory one with being a trimmer model was about 26 something. But then you're just going to click on this and that'll let you change your tire size to whatever you want. Now, after you do that, after you 
punch your tire size in here and hit check mark, you got to go down here and hit write. So then it's going to write it. And then you're going to go back to what you was at originally. So you're going to hit um, stop service. And then we're going to go back to configuration. And then you're going to click this PCM module initialization and relearn central configuration. You're going to do that and let it configure with your truck. I had to have the key on. Now the guy that did his, he said to leave the key off. I had to have my key on on this 24 trimmer. Um, and after I initialized that and went through the process, then I went down to the TCM, which is right here, and did the same thing in the process. And that um, went through the process. And then I went down to, I did the same process he did, and I went to the all-wheel drive module. Now, the only thing that I didn't have to do once I got done with doing the process that he did, uh, I didn't have any codes left on mine. So when I went back to my vehicle, there were no codes, no DTC codes on mine that had to be cleared, which is this right here. But there is so many things in this that you can do besides what else I'm going to show you in this video. So I hope this helps you guys and is... Uh, gonna give you like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the video in the bio for another video where a guy goes through this again So to give you two values of showing it. I learned this from him. So I didn't have to learn all this by myself All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys This is the MX plus that OBD link offers So a lot of these companies that you you have to buy these things from like a you know, Bully Dog makes them, um, Piper Tech, all these companies, banks, they make all of these perimeter reading utensils, but they're super expensive. So you can buy this OBD link, which plugs right into your PCM, and it's gonna give you so many values. And you can, you can go to the menu, and you can download all kinds of different values. But for instance, I've got my fuel right here. Mine is, this is a 6.7 Power Stroke diesel with 355 gears. So you've got your battery, which a lot of this stuff you can see in your dash. But on this, you can see a ton of other perimeters that you can't see in your dash. For instance, like this fuel right here, you can see the fuel rate that my truck is putting through the fuel lines, and that's gallon per hour. I'm letting off the gas now, so it's, you know, it's defueling. But then you've got engine temp, which you can see over here. But also, you've got your mass uh, air reading. You've got vehicle speed, fuel rate, O2 sensor 1, 2, total fuel economy, instant fuel economy. And then you've got multiple other, you've got boost. You can switch between these and you can make any window that you want say anything on there. And you've got all of these logs that you can monitor, do. Uh, you can run diagnostics on your truck. So if you've got a wrench light, it'll tell you all that. You can do zero to 60, your maps. You can go to it and, and oh, performance, let's see. Okay, so while I'm driving, I guess it won't let me do performance for some reason. I don't know why that is. Maybe it glitched. Ah, there we go. All right. So it says the feature on this page are not intended to be used on public roads. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they've got to say that. But for instance, like right here, you can see here's a zero to 60. It shows my mile per hour, and then it's got quarter mile, 1,000 foot, eighth of a mile so we'll pull out here and we'll try this zero to 60 with this now i've tried it with a draggy and a few other things it's not going to be legit reason being is because it's slightly downhill right here but it'll still give you a guys an idea 
of what this thing offers. So if we stop right here and we hit zero to 60, it was spinning a lot, so it's just now taking off. So it says 6.9 seconds. You can see it right there, last fastest. So it's gonna show you all that. This thing's like $130. But another thing that you can do is you can download Forescan and you can change all the perimeters in your truck. So you can link it to your truck and with a Windows computer. Now you cannot use a Windows S computer. So keep that in mind. If you're wanting to use Forescan to change your tire size, to program your TCM, to make your windows do things that you can't do, to have your high beams and fog lights on at the same time. If you wanna be able to do those things, you can't use a Windows S. It has to be a normal Windows computer. So make sure that before you buy it, you've got a normal uh, Windows platform on the computer. But like I said, with this here, for the amount of money, you get so many features and so many things that it offers. Plus it's Bluetooth and you can, like I said, you can link it to your truck. You can do zero to sixties, quarter miles, a ton of stuff on here. And then you've also, like I said, got all these other things like your diagnostics, your dashboard, which is what I was on at first. And then monitors you know it's going to show you all the things if you've got any issues here's a map you can also buy a camera and you can link it to this module and have a window driving plus all your perimeters from your vehicle displayed in the dash. So this is a really cool deal right here, but we're gonna go back and we're gonna, are you gonna go to Summerstone? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna test the GPS on this, and then we're gonna test it with a drag. I'm gonna set my cruise control to 55, and we're gonna see what it shows as far as my speed. So, uh, let's set it on here. So I'm, I'm set to 55 right now. So it says we're running 54.1. So I'm one, less than one mile an hour off, 54.1. All right, so let's check it with Draggy, see what we get with it. And that way we've got two perimeters using GPS. <coughs> so the Draggy's showing that it's right spot on, but we'll see right here. I'll check it just to make sure. Let's get it up to... Speed on her shows 45, that shows 45. Let's see if I can get up here to 50 around this traffic. So right there is 55, and that's what it showed on the speedometer too. So I think we're I mean really, really close to being spot on. I set my Four scan tire size to 
Now, a lot of people, and you'll see in this video of this guy's, I haven't tried bigger tire size, but he was saying that if you went to 2800 or above, that it was hard to get it to not show any wrench signs in your dash. And when you see his procedure, you're going to see that, I, you know, you get wrench lights at first. And if you look right here, I don't have any wrench lights on mine. So as far as the truck showing any wrenches or anything, it's, I mean, spot on. So this should be, you know, like I said, I may try bigger tire size circumference later on, but right now this thing's pretty spot on. You can see I'm running 21, it's showing 21, 22, 21. I mean, it's right on and that's by GPS. So my tire size is, is close enough for me that I'm happy. This is just gonna be a short trip heading back to the house, but I just wanna see what it says mile per gallon will be. And that way it'll kinda of give me an idea. So I'm gonna show you guys this. This little OBD link is saying that we're getting 18.7 right now. And my dash is saying 15 point or 15 at 2.3 miles. So this right here. All right, so this is showing 20.9 and this is showing 18.5. And we've only went 6.1 miles. So without doing a gas pump test, I won't know which one's more accurate, but we will do another fuel run pretty soon. Um, and also my dad has a 2006 Ram 2500. If you guys want to see a comparison between those two, let me know and I will produce that video. I just wonder what all, I mean, this is reading off the PCM. It's uh, directly reading from the truck's PCM and this is too, but they're two different values on how they're judging. As you can see, 18.7, 21.1. And this is coming from this little OBD Link MX, which is an absolutely cool device. Both of these will work with Forescan. So if you do not want to spend the extra money, you can just buy the OBD Link EX. The only thing is, is the OBD Link MX, you can leave it plugged into your vehicle and connect it to your iPhone or Android or tablet. And you can see all them perimeters that I'm showing you in this video. So if you're wanting it to give you zero to sixties and a lot more than just run with Forescan and show you diagnostics, then the OBD Link MX, this one, is the one you want. I'll put a link for both of these in the bio. Um, they're affiliate links, so if you do not want me to have any money, do not buy them from the links. But it helps the channel, and it also gives me a better opportunity to know what you guys like. And I appreciate you buying through the links. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and God bless.